need to edit your photos, I'm gonna show you a tool that will make photo retouching a breeze. Whether you're a novice or a professional, you're gonna to wanna to check these out. I'm gonna show you a few of Retouch For Me's photo retouching tools that not only work as Photoshop plugins, but also as standalone programs for both Mac and PCs. We're gonna test these out on some new marketing photos that I had done, but before we do that, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now, and I love to share what I've learned and the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you, or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. To get started, let's take a look at what Retouch For Me has to offer. I'm gonna show you a few of their Photoshop plugins today, and I'm very excited about them. I have some new marketing images that we're gonna test these out on. So the ones that really drew my eye was this portrait volumes one. This will add some extra depth and dimension to portraits by lightening and darkening the image, and then We've got the heel. I suffer from a lot of acne and skin blemishes and my photos need a little extra help in this department. So I'm gonna test out this heel. And then we've got mattifier. I also have very oily skin. So I tend to have a lot of shiny spots in my photos. So we're gonna see how that works as well as I thought that this fabric one where it just smooths out creases and wrinkles in fabric. These are just a few of what they have to offer, but as you can see, there's so much more. So if you have, you know, the need to clean up backdrops or if you've got dust issues, I think there was a few more for eyes and teeth whitening. They've got a lot of different options that you can choose from. Now, I wanna make sure that you pay attention and if you want to check any of these out, please click the link in the description because that is going to get you free cloud retouch bonuses and 20% off all of the plugins. So if you are wanting to test any of these out for yourself, you'll wanna make sure that you use that link. I also wanna mention that not only are these Photoshop plugins, but they do come as standalone applications. And so they work both for Mac and PC. I'll show you what that looks like as well. If you're not a Photoshop user, you don't have Photoshop and you're not going to use it as a plugin. I'll show you how it works both ways. Let's dive into Photoshop. I'm going to show you two different images. So I've got this image as well as this. This is me and my dog. That's my dog Pixel. She's my little princess. And I'm going to show you what these plugins look like. So the first thing that I will do is start with this one. As you can see, as I zoom in here, skin's not so perfect. I've got some shiny spots. And then the other things I wanna call out too, you can see that these are, it's a, the fabric's a little bit wrinkly in my dress. So it's not horrible by any means, but if we want to improve upon this photo, let's see what these plugins can do. So I'm gonna start by duplicating this layer so that we have a reference of what the original looked like versus what our retouched is going to look like. So the way that I find these is, and you're probably not gonna be able to see this in the video, but I go up to my filter menu and then in retouch for me, I've got my four options that I chose. I have the fabric, the heel, the mattifier, and the portrait volumes. Let's start with the fabric. It'll have this little pop-up and this is exactly what it will look like if you are not using the Photoshop plugin portion of it. It will just pop up this window and then you can make your adjustments there. There's a slider to blend on how you, much you want it to smooth things out. So you can see that things are really smooth here. If I need to zoom in and move things around for the fabric, you can see that that's kind of smooth. Let's just hold, if we click to hold here, it, it's gonna show us the original photo so that we can kind of get a reference. So you can really see that a lot of those wrinkles have been just smoothed out. They didn't go away completely and that was not our goal because if they went away completely, it would kind of probably look really fake. These are just a smoother version of things. So you can adjust that slider if you need to. If you're happy with the changes, all you have to do is hit apply. So we've got that. Let's move on to the next one. I'm hitting that filter drop down again. Retouch for me, I'm gonna do heal. And then just for reference, we can see that we've had, it didn't take everything away, but the bigger spots, it did remove those. And so I'm gonna hit apply on that. And then 
we'll go to the next one, the mattifier. So we can see we've got this just kind of halfway. That was our before right there. And then there's our after. I think that that looks good. I don't know that we necessarily need to move it up, but we can if we want to. We can see there's just a little bit of a difference there. I'll probably back that down just a little bit. I think that looks good. So I'm gonna hit apply there. And then for our final one, we'll go to the filter and then let's do portrait volumes. It just gives it that little extra zhuzh to take it to the next level. I've got this kind of higher, on the higher end. We can back that down a little bit if we think. Let's look at the original so you can see what that's adding. It's just adding a lot of depth to those shadows. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna hit apply. So this is our retouched image. Let me get rid of this timeline here so that we can have a little bit more room to work with. So that's the retouched image. And if you want to see where we started, it was there. So just by turning that on, we can see that there was a lot of changes and I'm really loving it. And look how quick that was. That was so fast. You know, if you're retouching photos and you're removing each spot one at a time, um, which I've done before, it's not always the most fun job. So that makes things a lot simpler and a lot quicker. So if you are editing if photos or if you're, you know, needing to retouch a lot of images, these could be really wonderful tools to have in your toolbox. Let's move on to the next photo. And so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just take a look and see what each of these do. So let's go to the drop down filter. We'll do the fabric one first. And I think this is so interesting. If you look uh, not only was it smoothing out some of the fabric, but I think it retouched portions of my hair as well as my dog's hair. So you can see things are just a lot like smoother and fluffier, which I think looks really good. So she just looks like she's, you know, been freshly groomed. We'll hit apply on that. And then we can just kind of take a look at that. And you can see that those smoothed portions of my hair. Let's go to the next one and go to heel. And we'll have to zoom in for this one. And let's see with the original. There's just a few spots, the ones that stood out the most that have been edited away. Looks good to me. Let's go to the next one. The mattify, because we know I'm shiny. I think that 76 level, I think that looks really good. Let's, for reference, we can see, looks like my shoulder, my cheek, and my forehead are the ones that have the biggest thing. There's maybe a little something strange going on with that piece of hair in the back, but that's something I could fix later. Not the biggest deal. So I'm just gonna hit apply there, and then we'll do our last one, which is the portrait volumes. To give it that extra depth, for original, there we go, there's the original, and then there's that extra depth to the photo. Let's hit apply. I had forgotten to make a duplicate of the layer, so I added that back in, and we'll just take a quick look at what the retouched photo looks like, which is this top layer here, and if I turn it off, that was our original. So you can see there is our retouches, and then the original photo. So I'm really happy with the results. But if you're not a Photoshop user, you're probably like, how does this apply to me? So let me show you how this would work. Of course, as a quick reminder, I am on a Mac. So if you're a Mac user, you would just go to your applications. And I'm sorry, I can't speak for the PC users out there, but in the applications, you can see these are four separate applications. And so all I have to do is just open them up and then I can drag photos in and then retouch just as I was doing in Photoshop. So if I wanna drag a photo in here, so the one that I was using in Photoshop, and this was the fabric one. We can see that that was the original and then that's the retouch. I can move the blender if I need to to make those adjustments and then I would just need to save the image. And 
as far as I know, you can't use these all together like you can in Photoshop. So that would be one of the benefits. But I could save this photo and then take that saved photo and then move it to the next application and smooth out the, the blemishes, you know, with the heel or modify the skin or do the portrait volumes to give it that extra depth. So I could do it by saving and then taking it to the next program. But it will just pop up independently for you outside of Photoshop. If you do want to use it in Photoshop and you've installed everything, just make sure that you close Photoshop and reopen it if you aren't able to find those plugins. Once you've installed, there isn't anything extra that you have to do for Max to get the plugins to work in Photoshop. Just make sure that once you did install them to close Photoshop down, restart it, and then they are under the filter dropdown and you'll be able to see the retouch for me panel. So please let me know if you have any questions. I'm excited to hear if you try these out for yourself. Be sure to click the link in the description if you do want to get that 20% off. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.